Welcome to Watch Me Code Q&A. I recently had a question from somebody about my five rules for mastering JavaScript this. They asked something that was tangentially related to some code from day two of this five-part series. And the question they asked was, regarding this code from day two, where I have var fn equals my object dot do stuff, in JavaScript, is this done via reference or by value? In other words, if after this, we then change the definition of my object dot do stuff, does the variable fn change as well? It's a great question, and it's one that can be kind of confusing at first if you're not used to the way JavaScript works, because it is a little bit different than some other languages that I've worked in. Um, quite honestly, I get confused by the by value versus by reference terminology. I can never quite seem to remember which is which. So rather than trying to explain if it's by value or by reference, I want to show you what it's actually doing. And hopefully that will clear up any confusion around this particular question. So I've got some sample code here, which is basically taken from day two of this JavaScript, this course. Now, in this case, I'm not actually manipulating the value of this in any way. This is kind of tangentially related to that code and that course, but not directly related to the value of this. All right, so looking at this code, I've got an object with a do stuff function that just does a console.log. Down below here, I've got a variable that I'm assigning to my object.do stuff. Down below that, I am calling the myObject.DoStuff function and then calling the fn variable as a function as well. If I drop over to the console window here and I run node example.js, we can see that it is logging doing stuff two times because I'm calling this function twice. Now the question is, after we assign fn right here, if we reassign myObject.DoStuff to something else, will fn change as well? So let's take a look at what happens when we do that. So we're going to say my object dot do stuff equals a new function. And we'll do a console dot log from here. And we'll say this is a different function. So when I save this and I go back to the command line and I run the example again, we can see that JavaScript is keeping the original assignment of the fn variable that happens right here. That assignment is not being replaced by the re assignment of my object dot do stuff at this point in time. So when we run both of these functions, we get this is a different function and doing stuff logged out to the console because my object dot do stuff is now pointing at this function while the fn variable is still pointing at the original function that used to be in place of my object dot do stuff. And now there's one last thing that I want to say about this real quick, and that is that when we created this function up here on this object and then assigned it to a variable down here, we did not create a copy of that function in this variable assignment. These objects, this object up here with the myObject.do stuff is pointing to the same function instance in memory as this variable fn. We're not creating a copy of this function. We simply have two things that are pointing to this function. We have myObject.do stuff pointing to the function, and we have the variable fn also pointing to the same function instance. Now, whether or not it is possible to create more instances of a particular function, well, that's another discussion for another time. But for right now, I hope this is answering your question, Stephen, on whether or not this code is acting in a by val or by reference manner. Like I said before, I get by val and by ref mixed up a lot in my head, so I don't want to say one of those terms in particular, but hopefully this demonstration of the actual behavior of JavaScript will be enlightening. And if you're looking for more information about JavaScript and how it works, be sure to check out the JavaScript Fundamentals screencasts that I have at watchmecode.net slash JavaScript Fundamentals. You'll find all kinds of interesting information here about variable scope, context, objects and prototypes, and a whole lot more.